Hello everyone. How are you all doing? My name is Richa and I'm from Skilldeck. I'm again back with the new video and new learning and today we are going to learn about bell curve for performance appraisal. A very interesting thing and very demanding too. Many of you have demanded me to record this video so here I am doing that for you all. Bell curve is a very old technique where we plot our employees on a curve and try to figure it out where the employee is falling. Whether employees are average performer, good performer, poor performer, exceeding expectations, that all we check with the bell curve. So in general, we just plot the data on the curve. Curve and the middle point is called as mean and mean person will be called as average person. And we will see how far the other employees are for from the average. So towards the left will be the below performing people and towards the right will be the exceeding performing people. Correct? Confused? Okay, let's see on your screen. We I have a data for you and let's do it here. So right now I'm presenting for the sales team. You can implement the same technique for your different teams. So what I did, I took the data of the different months here. I'm just taking the data for two months. You can take it for your all the months of the sales team. I in the column B, I have the names. In column C, I have the sales in January, what they did. Sales in February, they did. So on, you can take it for the other months. For now, I'm just taking it for the two months. Then we have to see the percentage of increase. The first step is we have to see how much the performance is increasing month on month. So formula of increase, we all know that. What's that? Okay. So the formula is... Sales in FAP, let's put that in parenthesis, sales in FAP minus sales in Jan divided by sales in Chan. Correct? So 5% increase. Right? So if you are taking more months, same way you can check what's the percentage increase of every month and do the average of percentage increase. Once you have the percentage increase, so first step is in the bell curve, we have to see what's the percentage increase. And then the second step is we will do the average of our increase. A simple formula of average. Let me delete the curve for now. We will create in the end. So what's the formula of average? Do we know that? Average of our increase. So 50% is the increase average on the sales. Now the first step was to find the increase percentage. The second step was just to do the average of increase. Now the third step is standard deviation. How, the, how much the data sets are deviated from the mean. Formula of standard deviation is simple. STD dot P and then we will do the increase percentage so we have the standard deviation now so three steps are clear now the fourth last step normal distribution what's normal distribution we are trying to figure it out how the data sets are divided across the mean in the simpler terms i just want to understand and see how much my employees are ahead or behind from average that's called as normal distribution. So normal distribution formula is equal to norm distribution, the percentage of increase, comma, the average, comma, the standard deviation for the non act. Then we will do the for false narrative. That's my normal distribution. Correct? Same way you will do it for rest of the employees. So I have now percentage of increase. I did my average. The third step, the standard deviation. And fourth step is normal distribution. Once that is done, then what I have to do? I have to just select my normal distribution. Insert your chart. And let's take the S. Bell, bell curve. Now it's like a bell. 
correct right this is my average once you have plotted the data on the chart now you can give your scores yourself like anybody who is exceeding 0 0.4 0 0.5 they are good who are exceeding 0 0.3 they are average so accordingly now according to your range on this axis 0 0.1 to 1.6 you can decide whom you are, we will consider the below good or average i hope you have liked this video so on the whole the bell curve is just helping us to figure it out who is our average performer below perform below performing and exceeding performing employees so anybody towards the left of the peak will be the below average people and towards the right of the peak are the people who are exceeding the performance and accordingly we give them the per appraisal percentages so that was all for today keep watching my videos for that you need to subscribe so what you are waiting for subscribe today bye bye